Hello out there in Stars Land. This is Tracy Myers, your Dallas Stars beat writer for the Fort Worth Star Telegram. Uh, my apologies for being absent for a couple weekends here. Uh, a lot of different things going on with the Stars, or not with the Stars, but uh, I apologize for not being with you. And we are back, and uh, plenty to talk about. I'm not exactly sure where to start. Let's just talk about this week alone. Uh, started last weekend with uh, the trade between Philip Boucher and Daryl Sador. Sador coming back to Dallas and uh, Boucher going to Pittsburgh. And uh, obviously for Sador, a very good thing. Uh, he wanted to come back here, and he is very familiar with the system, loves the city. So we'll keep seeing how that pans out. But, of course, the big news, losing Brendan Morrow, uh, the official word on Friday, torn ACL out up to six months. Now, let's think about what this means for the Stars. On paper, it's not good. you got your leader of your team, your captain, uh, and although he's gotten into some penalty trouble, he was still one of the top scorers on his team. But Stars need something to get them going. They need a reason to band together. They need a reason to get that cohesiveness that they haven't had so far this season. Maybe this is a good thing in that light. Maybe this is what they needed to get themselves together and realize they're kind of fighting for a common goal here, and so far things have not been going well. We take to the road a little bit later on today. The Stars, I think, are already on their way up to Philadelphia. I'll be heading up here pretty soon myself. you got Philadelphia, and then you got Minnesota. Now, Philly has struggled with giving up goals at just about as much as the Stars have. They also got off to a rough start. So that's going to be a pretty tight one. And Minnesota is always a very defensive-minded uh, system as far as what the Stars are going to have to deal with with them. They're doing all right. They did a little, lot better on the defense last night. Now the goals are starting to disappear, which is obviously a cause for concern. In the power play, I'm not exactly sure what's happening, but when you have a five-on-three for as long as you did last night against the Ducks, and considering the guys that they have off the ice with Scott Niedermeyer and Chris Pronger, you have to do something with that. So that's one of the things that the Stars are going to have to work on. A couple of good guys who have been playing. Trevor Daly played really good last night. They need that from him a lot more often than they've seen it. And Louis Erickson continues to be a very steady offensive force. So as of now, who knows? I'm starting to see little glimmers here and there as far as what this team can bring, but still missing that consistency. These guys need to string together a couple of victories, and I mean now. So we'll see what uh, Philadelphia and Minnesota bring, and we'll be back with you next weekend. Take care.